Step number six in maximizing your bent over row and mastering this terribly challenging movement. Uh, step number six is learning how to get that neutral spine position. We have this tendency, especially at the bottom, when we stretch our arms out, it's really easy to let the most flexible piece of your spine just collapse. And I don't want that bend to occur there. I want everything to stay relatively stiff. And when movement needs to happen, I want kind of everything to move at the same time very, very slightly. So each joint is staying congruent with its neighboring joints, and it's only moving a tiny, tiny bit. Um, the, the easy way to do this, or to mess this up, sorry, to do this mistake, is as I'm lowering the bar, maybe I've set up in a really good RDL because I practiced that. And maybe I did a really good row at the top because I practiced that. But then on the way down, what I'm losing is that spinal position. I might be keeping everything relatively stiff, but I might just be breaking in the middle of my back. And that is a sign that I'm leaking energy out of my body. What it's trying to do is it's trying to stabilize your midsection some more so that there isn't any leakage. Um, and the other thing it's trying to do is it's trying to get you, if you have this mindset of get a stretch at the bottom, it's trying to just get you a little bit more stretch. You can kind of feel like the weight is stretching further away from you if you're collapsing, you're crunching with your uh, midsection. What I'm here to tell you is, if you do that, you're overloading one specific joint in your spine. It's usually the T7 to T8 area because that's the most mobile position of your body. Um, I want you to think about keeping that torso nice and long, nice and tall the whole time that you're doing this bent over variation. Maybe don't overemphasize the stretch. Maybe you need to stretch a little bit less at the bottom. <clears throat> But I want you to stabilize with a nice, long, tall spine and not let yourself collapse and crunch once you get through a couple of reps.